Hey, it's Yolanda at Dryer Buzz, and this is another Dryer Buzz Eats, of course, for the holidays. I'm team canned cranberry, but I had to jump in and try to make some homemade cranberry sauce. I took one package of cranberries and put that on the stove, and it said a juice of an orange, but I cheated and added some orange juice to that. And then, of course, uh, the recipe that I went for was really simple. Cranberries, orange juice, uh, a cup of sugar. Actually, two cups of sugar. This was the first. I added the second one later after I reread or, or turned to the recipe. And I just kind of simmered that on the stove now and, and added also a pinch of salt and then just covered it uh, with water. Usually, I think I started with just about a cup and that was really enough. Now, the big pot behind there was my lemonade, which you see on the timeline all the time. Now, I kept stirring this and I stood over and I'm watching, trying to figure out what happens. But you know, a watch pot will never yeah, boil. Probably. As soon as I looked away, there it was, things started to happen. The cranberries popped open. Um, they began to just really give us all this goodness. And uh, I kept stirring, kept my eye on it. But then again, I looked at my recipes and I found one that said uh, maybe two cups of sugar so I went in went back with a second cup of sugar and just really stirring it I was just really amazed at uh, the fact that team fresh cranberry okay y'all are y'all were right this is everything goodness but then you know I still had to take it to the next level um, looked at an old school cookbook and said hey listen put a dash of vanilla in there and then a pinch of cinnamon some went way over the top adding marmalade and all of that but you know i really wanted to keep it simple i was still trying to prove the fresh cranberry steam wrong again as you can see as i'm stirring this and you'll hear i still was really amazed all right so this is working out pretty good but i wanted to find a medium ground for those that love canned and those that love fresh so those that love canned one of the reasons they don't like the fresh is the pulp and the cranberry so i took the hand mixer to it and just kind of smooth and blended it out later on you're going to see me strain it uh, to finish it off i just let it kind of simmer to reduce and i tried to convince myself yolanda leave it alone just leave it alone let it simmer let it reduce but i was just so amazed at how fragrant it was and the texture okay so finally i turned it off and just let it reduce and then i decided i remembered from a video of a friend cranberry sauce they finished theirs off with uh, a little bit of butter so I just got maybe like a um, tablespoon of butter I believe I used a tablespoon last of that butter right there a tablespoon of butter just to give it that shine I heard and of course you know butter and everything is good especially for the holidays so there it is finished product and again just to find the medium ground between the canned and the fresh to bring the teams together, we decided to go ahead and strain it off. Because as you can see, it still had some cranberries in it. And I didn't lose a lot. I kind of I was keeping an eye on that because if I was gonna lose too much, then I wasn't gonna do it. But it worked out perfectly. I'm telling you, it was absolutely again great. And then I just poured it off in a jar. It's now in the fridge and we're gonna have fresh cranberry sauce for Thanksgiving.